Hello everyone, Physicus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we'll cover how to loft or toss JDAMs. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation on all the technical aspects of these weapons and their associated systems, but I believe if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to execute this technique effectively. This tutorial is valid for the JDAMs we currently have in Falcon BMS, excluding the ones with gliding capabilities or that are powered. The ones that are relevant for this tutorial are the following. GBU-31, both variants. GBU-38, both the high explosive and the inert variants. GBU-54, in their JDAM function. And any other GPS guided weapons I may have missed. Note that the GBU-39 SDB, AGM-154 JSAW, and AGM-158 JASM have gliding capabilities or have an engine, so they should be employed using this technique. Let's get into it. Preparation For this demonstration, I'll be using four GBU-38 inert training bombs, and I'll be targeting a group of vehicle dummies on the Kotar range. I'll be approaching the target area from the west, taking advantage of an elevation that should shield my approach from any enemy air defenses in the area. Just like on the pre-mode, I right click on my target area, click on recon, expand the target list, select the first training dummy, set it to steer point 99 and hit accept. I continue to do the same for the following training dummies on a decreasing order on the steer points. Once I'm done, I go to data cartridge, go to targets, check my target steer points. If they are assigned to the steer points I intended, I click on save. Set up inside the aircraft. Once you are in the cockpit, go to air to ground mode. Then go to your SMS page. Power up the JDAMs and then hit the OSB next to CNTL. On this section, we need to change the impact angle. Click on the OSB next to impact angle. Click on OSB is next to 3 and then 0 and then enter. Also, since we plan to release the weapons from a relatively low altitude and their flight time won't be very long, I recommend decreasing the arming delay time. For example, 1.5 seconds, but this is not a requirement. In order to do that, you click the OSB next to AD 6.00 sec, select 1, 5, zero and then enter again after you're all set up you can leave the cntl page deploying the weapon once you are approaching the target area set master arm to arm if you haven't done so already select air to ground mode also do a final check to make sure that the weapons are ready to be employed and make sure that the settings are correct, like the impact angle and the arming delay time. Fly the aircraft to a lower altitude, and when you're there, try to maintain a relatively high speed. Altitude, altitude.
When you are about 10 nautical miles to the target, pull up. Try to not go over 4G. Press and hold the weapon release button and try to make the fly path marker meet the solution cube. Once the two meet, the weapon will be released. Cycle through your next steer points while pressing and holding the weapon release button on each of them. Once all of your weapons are away, do a diving turn away from the target, going for low altitude again, looking for possible terrain features to shield you as well as deploying countermeasures preemptively. And there we have it. This technique is very useful to strike targets while using the terrain to your advantage, minimizing your exposure time to enemy air defenses and ground fire. Also note that in the specific case of the GBU-31s due to their weight, you might have to begin your pull up a little closer than 10 nautical miles. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.